fellow pilots and friends, and welcome to another video of Eri Aviation Videos. My name is Erasmo Eri Malacara, and I'm a flight instructor here on the airport of Edinburgh, Texas. In this video, we are going to have the opportunity to experience how things can get complicated when bad weather is involved. We were making a cross-country flight from the state of Florida to New Orleans, Louisiana. And we knew ahead of time that the weather would be rapidly deteriorating due a passing cold front through this area. We were very confident that we can make it with any further complications. But in cruise, we realized that it will be a better decision to land in Gulfport, Mississippi, which is 67 miles from our destination. And bad weather has not reached this airport yet. Checking the weather in the ADAS, we found decent ceilings and winds that will make this approach a piece of cake. Well, as you will recognize, in aviation, is no such thing as a piece of cake. Once we start our ILS approach on runway 14, winds and visibility conditions begin to deteriorate so fast that our piece of cake approach becomes one of the most challenging approaches in my life. I hope you will benefit in your career from this experience. Please enjoy. 735 Bobby Uniform Flight President heading expect to go over top of the airport at 3000 for the right down to my 14. Flying present course, going over the runway, and uh, right downwind, maintaining 3,000. 5 Bravo Uniform, turn right, heading 310. 310, 5 Bravo Uniform. 5 Bravo Uniform, E145 on a, uh, about a 5 mile final course, about a, uh, I don't know if you heard that or not, about a uh, 20 knot tail wind. The uh, surface wind now, 310 at 4. 310 at 4, 5 Bravo Uniform. River 702, did you copy that as well? River 702, what did you say? River 702, E145, 2,000 feet, uh, about a four-mile final. It's getting uh, 25 knots out of about, uh, I think it's at 270 heading at about 25. Surface wind 290 at 5. Okay, thanks. Just 5 Bravo Uniform, this is going to maintain 2,000. 2,000, 5 Bravo Uniform. 5 Bravo Uniform, the wind's now... Uh, it's swung all the way around now. 310, correction 310 at 15. Do you still want 14? I'll send right here. Sir? 75 Bravo Uniform, my front letter. Uh, Ruby 702, you guys want 14 or 32? Uh, if that was the winds right now, uh, I'd like 32, Ruby 702. Let's I told him I was still wanting 14. Yeah, though. 14. Keep on going the approach on 14, we still go to land to 32. That's the reason we practice a circle to land maneuver. Gotcha. And your minimum circle to land? Uh, 423? No, it's going up to 500. Uh, no, you're going to keep right fighting. Right here, extended vector for 1 4, track 737, about uh, 18, turn about 18 miles, final for 3 2. Uh, Western 735. Uh, is there any chance that we can continue the approach on 1 4, circle to land 232? Uh, Bravo Uniform, you expect that to be falling at 737, about 15 miles to fly for 32. Oh, understand. We want to fall, we want to be number 2. Uh, we want to choose the ILS, 1-4 circle to land on 32, number 2. And another guy is on the opposite runway. Uh huh. So the 32. Right. You want to be on the opposite runway, 1-4. So he's going to land the other guy and by time and then let right. me do my uh, procedure. That's correct. Uh, Bravo Uniform, turn right, hitting 040, expect vectors across the final. Zero four zero. Five by uniform. Hello, I just caught a, a headwind or something. Push me up. This one's going crazy here. Five by the uniform. Expect to go back through one more time. That's seven thirty seven on the two mile final. I have you join from the west side. I understand that we're expecting uh, longer, and uh, we're not receiving the localizer on this side, so uh, do, do you need to switch it? Or? Uh, brother, you, know, but, uh, you may be getting it. You said you're not getting it? That's affirmative. I have two uh, radios, and I'm not receiving the localizer. Yes, sir. It's turning around to 3-2 right now for that 737. As soon as he gets on the deck, we'll uh, flip it back around for you. I understand that, so thank you. The five brother, you know. Why don't we just do a 3-2 localizer? Okay, let me ask Yeah, that. yeah, I mean, we don't kind of... Uh, 
and approach the level 735 Bravo uniform. We don't want to complicate things, so if it's easier for you, we can go to 32 for radar vectors. Bye, Bravo uniform, you're, uh, you're next. He's a uh, mile final now, so he, uh, he's about another 60 seconds. We'll have a flip back around for you. All the same. Thank you, sir. 735 Bravo uniform. All right. He said he, he switched, fixing to switch dialless to this direction. The other guy is one mile. So you want to pass again, then he's going to bring you back. What are you doing? Like uh, S is... Uniform should be coming around now. Let me know when you receive it. Other side, sorry, waiting. 735 Bravo, uniform. And 735 Bravo, uniform. We have the localizer now, sir. Thank you. Right turn left, left turn heading 090. Join the runway 14 left ladder. 090 to join the approach at uh, 5 Bravo uniform. And Bravo uniform report established on the localizer. Report report established on the localizer 5 Bravo uniform. Let's start with slowing down because it's going to be a very good tailwind. I slow down as, as practical as possible. And we're, we can stay at 2000, that's where you're going to intercept the localizer. Now, the tailwind's coming from 3-2 now? That's no, that's not that's not that's not Continue left turn heading 040 and I'm going to widen you out just a little bit, you get a little close to Bayou there. Understand, 040, that goes for us, uh, 5 uh, probably uniform. It's going to happen very quickly because it's strong tailwind. Bravo Uniform, four mile, cushion three miles from Bayou, turn right heading 110, maintain 2000 until established on the left side, clear to ILS runway 14, circle runway 32. 110 on the heading 2000 and the altitude, till established, we're going to uh, circle to Lano 32. Fly Bravo Uniform, thank you. And we're going to make in 138 knots, let's put it the first notch of flash, but reduce power first to 15 here. Reduce power a little bit more. There you go. Maintain your altitude, 2000. Hold it right there for a moment. Want to give you false horizons outside, don't believe that. Reduce power a little bit more. Reduce power. More, a little bit more. A little bit more. Flaps. One flap. Bravo right, uniform wind now, 290 at 4. And uh, contact tire, 123.7. Good night. Going to tower for Bravo uniform. Ah, they left rooted. And tower on the five Bravo uniform with you on the ILS one four circle to land three two. Very good. Good job with the rooted. November seven three five Bravo uniform go for tower runway one four circle to runway three two clear to land and wind two nine zero at five. Uh, one four circle to land to three two. Do you want us to go left or right uh, that way, sir? Five Bravo uniform to power discussion. Pilot discretion for circuit to land uh, three, uh, one four two three two. Ah, reduce power a little bit more. Right rudder. Right rudder. Yeah. Got it. There you go. All the right rudder. Good job. Power looks good. 1300 for 500. 1300 for 500. There you go. Now you reduce the right rudder. Go ahead with the left, slowly. There you go. A little bit more. Left. Left rudder. Left. That way you don't go to the other side. Reduce power a little bit. 1100 for 500. Good job. Very good. 1000 for 500. There you go. Drops. Get some yes, both. The mixture's fine. Gonna enrich in a little bit. Pop in a little bit. Power. Okay. I'm at 100. I need to back off a little. Uh huh. 700 for 500. 700 for 500. Now look outside. Let me know. You see the runway. I see the runway. Let's circle to the right. That way you have more visibility to the left. Okay. Going to increase power to uh -huh. get over there. Stay 500. And tower November 5 Bravo uniform commencing circle. 600. 5 Bravo uniform, Roger. Wind 280 at 6. 
Now, this is important, don't lose the runway. I don't see the runway, so don't lose it. Good job. All right. It's going to be very short. Because we cannot go away. Uh, we have the risk to lose the runway. Looking good from here. Now take in consideration, take in consideration the wind's going to blow you that direction, so right. a little crab into the right, uh, as you need. 844 50 8 it's uh, just over and south of the airport, and then extends north and northwest, uh, kind of scattered on and off for about, uh, about 30 miles or so. Good job, very good, good distance. Do they have a rabbit on that side? Uh, I'm not sure, but the lights are on. There you go, right there. Runway is okay. going to be... Reduce power. Reduce power. Power back, back, back. Back on the back, keep on going. This is your runway over here. Uh, 32. There you go. Okay, Get the runway inside, keep on going. There you go. Out a lot of flaps to slow you down. Now you can follow the basic lights, two red and two whites. If I'm going back in, it's going to blow you to the right. There you go, good job, good job. We are slowly high, so reduce uh, power. Oh, we got a lot of runway though. There you go, go closer to the runway. Very good. Excellent. A little bit closer. Now look at the end of the runway, bring the nose to the horizon. A little bit more, right there. Hold it. When you feel the touchdown, close the throttle. Close the throttle, flaps up. Good job, man. Good job. Hey, it's 4 4 50. Yeah. Surface wind's gone. Come on, you guys want 1 4? Hey, it's 4 4 50. Runway 1 4. Text via Charlie. Wind calm. Yeah, Tim, they're 200 under 6. Uh, for 5 Bravo uniform, we want 2 million. Is that the 5 Bravo uniform taken? I will go to Millionaire, sir. Uh, 5 Bravo uniform. Is that the 5 Bravo uniform? I just turn left, taxi away, Foxtrot, taxi to the ramp, via straight ahead. Foxtrot to the ramp, straight ahead with you, uh, 5 Bravo uniform. Uh huh, that's one. I don't see the. T there it is. Yeah, I just follow the yellow line because it's very, very. Yeah, we got it. Man. Here's where we appreciate those lights that you put it there. Oh yeah, I didn't want to travel without them, man. Uh, I think we took a good decision, guys. Don't yes, go to the dead. New Orleans. Am I oh, going towards him? Uh, yeah. Yes. Center up. Right. Right. The 94 we back is correct. I got disoriented, man. I got, uh, when we were up. doing those S's, yeah. I got totally disoriented. Why? And what, and what happened? The clouds don't help neither. Uh -huh. They are giving you false horizons really bad. Oh, my light's off. There you have it, my friends. That's how fast things can change when bad weather is involved. We were convinced that shooting the ILS on runway 14 will be the correct one for us. And we end circling to land on the opposite runway due to the chain on wind speed and directions, with the low clouds and low visibility. Nothing on the ADES report was accurate from the point that we listen first to the point where we land. That's how tricky bad weather can be. Definitely, it's no substitution for a constant training and practice to cope with these kind of situations. And it makes us realize about the tremendous importance of being an instrument rated pilot, which not only will allow us to fly in instrument meteorological conditions, but also it can save our lives. I hope this video will help you in your flying career. And meanwhile, please keep the sky safe and fun, and I'll see you next time.